How do you do, my friends, abundant everywhere, boys and girls and children and men and women and teachers? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business, and I would call to your attention my spectacles, especially made by our craftsmen in this castle. Gold, solid gold, taken from the bowels of the earth. And the oars worked, machined, purified, pure gold spectacles. And a demonstration of pure, abundant fun. Here is an aluminum plate. I think perhaps in some parts of the world the stuff is called aluminium. So... And here is that strong Alnico magnet. You see, I can slip it off laterally, but not at right angles to the faces. Now I want to show you that aluminum is not magnetic. It is not magnetic for our purposes here. But all things are magnetic. Wood, flesh, stone, everything is magnetic but some much more demonstrably so than others. Iron, nickel, cobalt, they are highly magnetic. But all things are magnetic, quick proof. Magnetic forces have their primordial origin in electron motions, and all stuff have atoms which have electrons which are moving. So all stuff is magnetic. That's not commonly understood. Now, this is not enough magnetic for us to see it. But this is iron, and that's highly magnetic. Oh, much so. Now, I want to show you a most remarkable thing. I am going to put this metal plate, which has a little hole in it, on this shaft, so it is free to turn in a horizontal plane on a vertical central shaft. Now, remember, it's not magnetic. It's not magnetic. It is not magnetic. You see how emphatic I have to be with this. Now I have put a piece of clothesline around this magnet, and I'm going to wrap it around my hand like that, and then I'm going to twist up the rope, and the physics of this must be narrated. I have stored some twist energy in this rope. Now I'm going to put the magnet symmetrically above the aluminum plate, and remember, the aluminum plate is at rest and quiet. At rest and quiet. Watch it now. Now the magnet will untwist, or the rope will. And this is an astonishing thing. Absolutely. And we wonder why it is so. And I'll make a remark about it. You remember way back when I talked about Michael Faraday? And we had a coil of wire connected to a galvanometer, and I thrust a mic magnet in here. Well, there I have a conductor, and there I have a moving magnet. And an electric current was born by certain actions. So, when this magnet is brought near this plate and the magnet is moving, it's quite like the magnet moving there. So electric currents were born in that metal plate. And remember, didn't I show you that Ersted, in 18 and 20, discovered that around a current-bearing conductor, there is a magnetic field. So the current that arises in that plate gives rise to a magnetic field, which interacts with this magnetic field. By the way, gold is not magnetic. Yeah? And the interaction gives rise to a motion of the plate.